Let's talk about the Grand Theft Auto leaks that are popping up. I mean, people have been chatting about this stuff for ages, but now it's like, boom, it's happening. They're saying Rockstar will officially reveal the trailer in about a month, which is pretty nuts. So, the closer we get to the reveal, the more leaks are gonna flow in. Last week, there were a bunch of new leaks, and I'll fill you in on those. So, the first thing I wanna mention is that it's pretty much confirmed that GTA 6 is gonna be for PC and the latest consoles. If you're still rocking a PS4 or Xbox One, sorry, but GTA 6 won't work on your machine, well, you know, it's kind of common sense if you think about it. GTA 6 is set to drop in 2024, which is like four years after the new console generation kicked in. And let's not forget, GTA 6 is going to be a huge power-hungry game. Trying to make it work on the older consoles would be a real headache for Rockstar. I mean, some folks out there actually thought GTA 6 would come out on the PS4 and Xbox One. There have been articles about it, believe it or not. I guess some people still expect games to be all cross-gen these days. You've got titles like Assassin's Creed Mirage and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 still going strong on the old PS4. By the way, I'm holding a monthly giveaway for a PlayStation 5. You just need to subscribe and you're entered. Now, back to the video. If you were crossing your fingers for GTA 6 on the old systems, well, the insiders say it's a no-go. Honestly, that's probably a good thing. I mean, trying to fit all the stuff Rockstar wants in a game made for consoles from 2013? No way. Plus, word on the street is that GTA 6 is gonna have some long-lasting support, even more than GTA 5. Well, if you think about it, there's just no way GTA 6 is gonna work smoothly on the old PS4 and Xbox One versions. I mean, those consoles struggled to run GTA 5 decently. So, handling GTA 6 with all the updates? Nope. To get a piece of the GTA 6 action, you're gonna need a PS5 or one of those Xbox series consoles. Now, speaking of the PC version of GTA 6, it looks like it might hit the scene sooner than previous Rockstar PC ports. Word on the street is that the PC version might actually launch alongside the Xbox and PlayStation ones, which would be a big change. Usually Rockstar makes PC gamers wait an extra year or two. They haven't confirmed it, of course, but there have been some leaks hinting at the PC version being in the works alongside the console one this time. So fingers crossed for a simultaneous PC release or maybe just a few weeks or months later, rather than a whole year or two. It's about time, right? And there's this exciting tidbit that's been circulating for a while and now seems more likely. The GTA 6 map is going to be more than just Vice City. While Vice City is confirmed to be the main spot, and it's already been shown off in some leaked development stuff, there's a buzz that we'll get to explore other big cities in the game too. They're saying these additional cities might play a big part in the story. Usually in past GTA games, you got the main city and some smaller areas around it. But if these reports are true, GTA 6 could have at least one more city besides Vice City. And it's not going to be just a stone's throw away. There are going to be smaller neighborhoods and random towns to explore all over the map. This could be Rockstar's biggest and most crowded game world so far, no doubt. And I gotta repeat, it's not going to work on those old PS4 and Xbox One machines. Now, the Take-Two CEO has been in a bit of a jam lately when it comes to GTA 6. He kind of slipped up and revealed the game's release window on live TV, and there's this voice memo floating around where he straight up says the game will be revealed next month and then launch in October 2024. Some folks were wondering if that memo was legit or just AI generated, but it's leaning towards being real since Take-Two's been copyright striking anyone who tries to post it. Either way, the CEO said something else that's got people talking. You know, opinions on AI-made stuff are all over the place. AI can make some cool art and even covers of popular songs, but it's also a way for companies to cut costs. Some people argue that AI-made content lacks the care and effort a human puts into it. Plus, it raises questions about how much companies should charge for AI-made stuff. You'd think it'd be cheaper, right? But it doesn't always work out that way. Way. So, the CEO mentioned AI in game development, and it's got folks thinking GTA 6 might have some AI stuff in it. They're not saying they'll replace humans with AI, but they're open to the idea of using AI as a tool in some way. That's got some folks a bit worried. It's a tricky path to walk. So, let's talk AI for a minute. Imagine if it was confirmed that AI played a role in developing GTA 6. Would that make you more excited, less excited, or doesn't it really matter to you? I mean, look at all the fuss happening with the actor and Writers Guild going up against the big movie company. A lot of their beef is about AI, using actors' likeness, and companies not seeing a problem with that. Now, speaking of what the game's worth, AI or not, there's a rumor floating around about the price tag. Last week, someone claimed that Take-Two Interactive was thinking about selling the basic version of GTA 6 for a whopping 150 bucks. Sure, I bet there'll be some fancy deluxe collector's edition for that much, but selling the plain old base game for that price? That's a tough sell, no matter how you slice it. But since this rumor popped up, there's been a debate about whether it's legit. Right now, most folks in the rumor mill are leaning towards it being fake, and I personally agree. We won't know for sure until Rockstar or Take-Two says something, but if you were concerned about GTA 6 breaking the bank on launch day, I don't think you have to stress about that for the regular base game. Now, collector's editions and such, that might be a 
different story. I have no clue where this rumor started, but it seems pretty far-fetched to me. I can't see Take-Two actually thinking they can pull that off and make people happy. It feels like price gouging, plain and simple. Here are also 10 features from leaked GTA 6 pre-alpha gameplay. These features will be on your PS5, S, and PCs when GTA 6 drops. And if you're wondering if these leaks are real, Rockstar confirmed these on Twitter, and the hacker was arrested. Let's jump straight into the leaked features. Let's kick things off with some exciting vehicle action. Picture yourself cruising through the mesmerizing Everglades in a top-of-the-line hovercraft. That's just one of the personal vehicles you can get your hands on right from the start. For instance, you can hop behind the wheel of a stunning 1970 Ford Ranchero GT, rocking a bold red and black design. This beauty belongs to a character named Jason. Now, brace yourself for a deeper level of immersion. Every character has their own unique inventory. So, when you're controlling Jason, you can dip into Lucia's inventory, and vice versa. Just think about the possibilities. If you're playing as Jason and running low on assault rifle ammo, you can simply ask Lucia, if she's nearby, to share some with you. This enhanced cooperation between characters opens up a world of opportunities for collaboration and resource sharing in the game. Let's dig into some of the confirmed items you'll find in GTA 6. The list is quite diverse, including spear guns, bolt-action sniper rifles, and a variety of golf clubs, wedges, irons, and drivers. Players will also have a practical crowbar to crack open containers and secure loot. Additionally, the game will feature smoke grenades, flashbangs, golf balls, and tracker jammers to help players evade law enforcement. Stealing high-value vehicles from the streets might require specialized tools like the immobilizer bypass. The range of options promises to make gameplay a captivating experience. Now, let's shift our focus to the intriguing locations we've glimpsed so far. There are plenty of places to explore, including tennis courts, a massive stadium, and even a museum, all with interactive interiors. This brings back the depth of exploration that made GTA 4 memorable, and it's a feature we're eagerly looking forward to in GTA 6. During a diner robbery, one of the NPCs expressed relief with a simple, finally, thank God. Upon the arrival of law enforcement, this example shows the intelligent and responsive AI in GTA 6, highlighting Rockstar's attention to detail. Speaking of wildlife, a variety of animals are confirmed for the game, though I won't list them all here. Take a look at this image for a sneak peek. During certain heists, a timer pops up at the top of the screen, counting down until the police arrive. There are two theories about this feature. Some think it might be a developer tool for testing gameplay, ensuring everything runs smoothly. But a more intriguing possibility is that players may need to plan their heists strategically, syncing the police response to pull off the perfect crime. That would be a captivating addition, wouldn't it? What really amps up my excitement is the inclusion of a vast aquarium. Yes, you read that right. Players will have the extraordinary chance to explore an aquarium in the game, adding an intriguing layer to the gameplay. Here's an interesting twist. When you're on the run and decide to hijack a vehicle, your criminal description undergoes a subtle change, intentionally leaving out any vehicle details. This clever move prevents potential witnesses from giving the police information about the getaway vehicle. It adds a tactical dimension to the gameplay and helps you evade detection. Furthermore, the game's non-playable characters, NPCs, have received significant enhancements with a wide range of body types and sizes. Some NPCs stand tall and imposing, while others have a more average build. This diversity brings the in-game city to life, making it feel realistic and vibrant. Rockstar has undoubtedly set a new standard in gaming with GTA 6, and I can't wait to dive into this captivating virtual world. That was 10 features you'll see in GTA 6. Note, some of these features might be changed in the final game. Thank you for watching.